Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know I get a lot of requests and recently I've been getting a lot of requests for duct tape doll clothes. Now, I have to be honest with you, I didn't jump right into this because I personally don't own a doll. But the other day I was at my favorite store and there was a sale on dolls. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick one of these up so that I can make some duct tape doll clothes. Now here's my little young lady and you can see I've got a vest for her, a shirt, a pleated skirt, some cute little sandals, a watch, some hair bows, and I even will show you how to make a purse. Now this is going to be a series and we're going to start with the skirt. So for this project, you're going to need duct tape. Now for my skirt, what I've done is I've used a base color for the main part of the skirt, and then I've added an accent color. So I've got two rolls of duct tape here. I've got sticky back Velcro. That's what's going to hold my skirt together. I'm going to need a ruler, scissors, and a piece of string, thread, ribbon that's at least mm, like 24 inches long. You're going to wrap that around your doll's waist. So make sure that it's longer than your doll's waist. And you are definitely going to need your doll and of course a work surface. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon or string or if you happen to have a uh, measuring tape that's great too. And I'm going to put it behind my dolly here and I'm just going to loosely measure her waist. So I'm going to take it to right there. Okay, I'm going to move Dolly off to the side here. And now I'm going to measure this string. Okay, so my string is about, that's 12, it's about 13 inches. I'm going to add 2 inches to that 13 inches. So I'm going to have 15 inches total. What I want to do now is make 12 strips of 15 inch tape and I'm going to be making those out of the yellow. And I'm going to want three strips of 15 inch tape. Okay, the tricky thing with the skirt is because it's pleated, it's going to go from 45 inches, which was what we're going to be making right now, 45 inches to 15 inches, which is the doll's dress. It's going to shrink like three times, which is why I've got 12 of these. So first thing I do is I lay down my first strip, my first uh, 15 inch strip, and I'm going to take my second 15 inch strip, and like I always do with duct tape fabric, I'm going to overlap by about a quarter of an inch. Now if you wanted to make a longer skirt, just add another piece of tape. If you want to make a shorter skirt, just make this tape overlap more. It's up to you how short you make her skirt. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this piece over. Oh, excuse me, wait, sorry, forgot my accent piece. Let's add our accent piece. We're going to add our accent piece. Wait, that was my, that was my first piece there. There we go, sorry. Make sure you put it in the right spot. And I'm just overlapping by that tiny little bit there. And I pull her up and turn it over. Now, when I lay my next piece of tape, and this is really, really super important, when I lay my next piece of tape, I want to leave about half an inch up at the top here. So I'm going to take my next piece of tape. Oop. I'm holding it really tight so that I don't drop it like I almost did right there and I'm going to lay this right on top with, see the sticky strip? I've got a sticky strip right on top and that's really super important. Okay, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to lay this one right down, overlapping. Now here's where you can determine the length of your skirt. Um, see this is going to be the front of your skirt. So you can decide if you want to fold this up, because that will make it a little shorter, or if you just want to fold this part just to the edge, which is what I'm going to do, because I want her to have a little bit longer skirt. Okay, now I'm going to trim this edge to get rid of that, and I'm going to trim this edge so that it's even. I now am going to add 
two more sets of exactly what I just made here. So you can see that this is the beginning of my fabric. There's the edge, and that's the sticky. So I come back to the front, and I'm going to do exactly what I did before, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this piece as my template. So I'm going to lay this edge right on top. And I'm going to have to slide this out for you guys so you can see. But can you see that edge? I laid it right on top, right there. Now I'm going to name, lay my next piece. And remember, you always overlap. And I'm going to overlap the same amount that I did on the other side there. So now I'm lengthening my piece. OK, now I've got my accent. And I'm going to line it up, make sure I line it up all the way around. OK, now I turn this over. Just be really careful that it doesn't stick to itself like that. It likes to do that because it's got a little sticky edge up here. That you're going to see why that sticky edge is so important in just a few moments. OK, now I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the front, on the back. Line up my pieces. Make sure that I leave that sticky strip at the top. Lay another strip. And then the nice thing here is that I've got this edge here just to line up with. And I just fold this up. Now if you, if you miss and get a little bit of stickiness, you can always come back and put a tiny little strip over it. OK, now I'm going to continue. What I need to do is trim that edge. Dropped my scissors there. Trim my edge here. I'm going to do this one more time. Line it up. See, this is where I'm thinking that you can just speed it up, Squeedy. OK, now you can see I have a very, very, very long piece of fabric. Now the reason that I did it in three sections is because 15 inches is much more manageable than a whole 45 inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our pleats. I'm going to fold. This is about a thumb for me. It's about an inch, about a thumb up. And I'm going to fold it like the letter V. See how that's folded like the letter V? It kind of makes a mountain. And then I'm just going to lay it down on itself. Now, when I do this, this tape 
is going to stick to itself here. And then I'm going to do the same thing, give myself another inch and fold it up and lay it down. Now, where it can be very helpful right here is to have some extra strips of thin tape. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to hold this with my fingers and I'm just going to take some thin strips of tape and I'm just going to place those right here. And that's going to hold that so that it doesn't undo on me because I've got a lot of folds to do. So, once again, got my thumb. Now your thumb, of course, is probably going to be smaller than mine, so you might get tighter pleats if you try to go a thumb length. But think about it being about an inch. Okay, I did that one. Now I'm going to do another one. So an inch, fold it, and down. This is also how you make ruffles. Okay, so now I've done two. It's like every two is a great place to put a little piece of tape just to keep it secure. Just make sure that you don't tape it down onto your board or your work surface. You won't be able to get it up. Okay. Getting close to being done here. Now, you want to leave about, oh, actually, about, what is that, about two inches there. You want to leave that. That's going to be where we secure it to the dolly so that it's going to come around like this. The skirt's going to come around, and we're going to put our Velcro here. So I'd like to pretty this up a little bit. And I think that what I'd like to do is match it. Now you could just use the yellow, but I think I'd like to match it to this. So that means I'm going to need one more embellishment strip. And that embellishment strip needs to be about 14 inches. Well, let's see. Let's measure it. 13, 14. It's, a little, it's going to be a little shorter. So it's going to be 13 inches here. So let me get my embellishment tape. My embellishment tape might be a little long because I pre-cut it, but that's okay. All right, now I want to make sure that I cover where I've got that little bit of yellow tape. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it right at the edge there. See that? And then I'm going to take this and flip it over. Now you can give her a high waist or a low waist. It's up to you. I think I'm going to give her a pretty low waisty. And that's also going to cover up all that sticky that was on the back there. Now I'm going to take my scissors and just get this little snip. And a little snip. I told you I made mine a little bit long. Okay. And there's my skirt. Now what I want to do is I'm going to need my doll. So come here, doll. Uh-oh. All right. As you can tell, I did not make duct tape panties. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skirt and wrap it around. And you can see it's a pretty perfect fit there. And what it needs is some Velcro. Now, the reason that I leave this kind of flat here is just so that it's got a little bit of give. This way, if my, if my Velcro, if I needed to have it tighter or looser, I've got a little bit of a place to go with it. So I'm going to need my little piece of Velcro right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Velcro strips, which are buried under all my boards here. Okay, grab my Velcro strips. I'm going to put the two together and figure out where they need to go. So for my dolly, they need to go right about there. And I can, if I want to, make the Velcro strip go all the way down. But in this case, it should hold together with just the Velcro at the top. So peel off the backing. So you've got your two Velcro pieces. One side's fuzzy. This is the fuzzy side. And then you've got the loop side. doesn't matter which side you put on which side. But you're going to open it up one side. And you're going to stick it right onto your Velcro, excuse me, your uh, duct tape. Then peel the other backer. Oh, without 
undoing it. There you go. Peel the other backer. Take your duct tape and wrap it around. And there it is. Dolly has a skirt and she's all set to go to school or wherever else she may want to go today. Now, if you come back for more webisodes, you're going to see me make a shirt and a vest and all the other fun things I'm wearing. So come and check me out at sophie-world.com.